Skartax, the Dark Herald, Demon Prince of Nurgle, seeks to expand his armies in preparation for his invasion into the Empire. Whilst many flock eagerly to fight under his banner, others take more convincing to join his cause. Skartax knows the great war machines of the Chaos Dwarves will be invaluable in the sieges to come, but the Sorcerer Prophets do not readily take orders from any other. When negotiations break down, there is only one way to resolve the matter. Battle is inevitable. Will Skartax's might bend the Chaos Dwarves to his will, or is his campaign over before it even starts? It's Chaos Dwarves against Warriors of Chaos. Welcome back to the world that was. Thanks for joining us again on the channel. Got an army which we haven't seen many times today, which is the Chaos Dwarves. Doing a slightly new sort of format with how we introduce our games. Hope that you like it. Let us know in the comments. Just means that we should get to rolling dice a little bit quicker without too much preamble at the start of the games. Today we are playing Blood and Glory, which is where you have the breaking points for the armies. Got to try and capture standards and kill the general. First army who breaks, that's it. It's game over. Um, let's take a quick look at both the armies, whiz you through those, and then we're all off for the first turn. Starting with my main man today, Skartax, the Demon Prince of Nurgle. He's gone full beast mode. Uh, he's level 4, you know, Stream of Corruption, Miasma of Pestilence, Curse of the Leper, and Rancid Visitations. He's also got the Demonic Flight. He's got Chaos Armor, um, Scaled Skin, and Soul Feeder for his Demonic Upgrades. And he's also got a Charm Shield, Dragonbane Gem, and Sword of Striking. So he's an absolute monster, 500 points. Uh, next to him is the standard Chimera, usual loadout on him. BSB, he's got Sword of Battle and Talisman of Preservation, I think it is. The 5-up ward save one anyway, and he's in a unit of 29 Warriors of Chaos, Mark of Corn, and Halberds. They've got a standard discipline. Got a Gorby's Chariot, no mark on that. Six Chaos Knights with Ensorcelled Weapons, Standard Bearer, and Musician, no mark on them. And five Chaos Warhounds. And taking a look at the Chaos Dwarves. Okay, I've got a Kadai Destroyer on the flank. And then moving over, I've got ten Infernal Guard with Fire Glaives. Behind them, a Death Shrieker Rocket Launcher. And then I've got a, a unit of six Kadai and thirty Infernal Guard with the Banner of Swiftness. Um, the Saucer is in there too. He's a level two and just had has a dispel scroll today. Um, he knows fireball and flaming sword. And then on my other flank is a unit of six bull centaurs with great weapons and a bull centaur Tarok who has the sword of might, other tricksters shard and a black shard armor and a shield. And rolling for the first turn, chaos. I get a plus one. We're both chaos. <laughs> Five yeah. becomes a six. And one, yeah. Um, I will be going first, I think, against you. And your first time with the Chaos Dwarves. Yeah, I'm quite excited by this team. Yeah. Um, but I don't know whether this is the right game for them. <laughs> no, your fortitude is three. And you've got one standard, which is this unit. I have to kill this unit. If I kill that unit, I have won. Oh. That is what it, it boils down to. Um, let's see if I can do it. Turn one for Warriors of Chaos, coming up. Movement phase for the Warriors is complete. Quite tentative over on this side, just a bit of a shuffle. Um, quite wary of these <laughs> scary looking Kadai and other things. But over here, Skartax and the Chimera have flown down outside the front arc of those bull centaurs. Moving on to Winds of Magic. Oh, that's a bit naff. I'll try my channel... Ah, I do. So at least I've got four. Let's shall try hers and think what I'm going to cast. Not a lot of Paradise, but we're going to try Rancid Visitations down onto that one unit of Infernal Guard that I need to kill. It's cast on a 10. Ah, oh, miscast. Goodness sake. Right, okay. D6 strength 5 hits. Oh, 6. I'm running well for 6s today. Um, toughness 4. So... These are on twos. Ooh. So that's four wounds that go through. 
Two of the Infernal Guard failed their armor saves. Now it's time for the toughness test to see if it keeps going. Uh, four. No, you've passed it. Would have been nice to try and get off the uh, Curse of the Leper first, but with hardly any power dice, that isn't going to happen. So let's see what I've done on my miscast. Ten. Losing D3 power le uh, wizard levels, which is ah, only one, thankfully, and I automatically forget that spell. So I'm now down to level three wizard, which is still better than you were, but uh, that's that. Um, and I can't attempt to cast any more spells, so that's the end of magic. I don't have any shooting in this army, so that's it. It's going to be Chaos Dwarves, turn one. Dwarves turn one. Any charges? Yes. We've got my Kadai Destroyer going into your Warhounds. Okay, you cause terror, so it's a terror test for me first. Which, uh, five, I've passed. Um, I think I will flee anyway, actually. Yeah, because I'm dead. <laughs> so, I'm going to flee. Um, ten inches. I'm gone. Double check that I'm not too close to those. Um, does he want to redirect? Yeah. Okay, who are you going to try and redirect into? Your, your knights. Knights, okay. Double check what they need, but I think it's going to be something high. Any other? Oh, sorry, leadership test to redirect. See if you pass your leadership. No, you can't. You're still going to chase down these warhounds. Fair enough. We're off for him in a minute. Any other charges? Uh, yes. Got my Kadai Fireborn going into your chariot. Yeah, I am going to just hold for that one. Which one do you want to for first? Them? Okay. Uh, five. It's an 11. I think that's not going to quite make it. We'll double check. Um, I need to get these guys moved 10. But let's see how far your destroyer is going. Uh, six. It's going to be a failed charge, so they're both just going to stumble forwards. So the Kadai and Kadai Destroyer have stumbled forward after failing their charges. The Infernal Guard with the Five Glaives have moved up in support, and the big unit of Infernal Guard have just moved around. Bull Centaurs have done a reform so that the Chimera and Demon Prince are now in their front arc. Takes us on to Winds of Magic. Let's see how strong they're blowing for you. Oh, wow, the complete opposite of me. Well, there's no point you trying to channel, but let's see if I can get one. No. Okay, well, you've got 12 dice and two spells. Okay, so first I'm going to use Flaming Sword of Ruin on these chappies. Yeah. I'm just going to do five dice in it. Okay, no miscast. Um, it's looking good. What are you on? 12, 14, 15, 17. Uh, it's plus one to wound. Ah, I know what's coming for the next one, so yeah, I'm just going to have to let that one go. Okay. And next we're going to do a medium fireball on your prince. Demon prince, yeah, okay. How many of this? Five on I'm going to do one. five and... Yeah. Oh. Ooh, okay, that's not brilliant, is it? What do you want? Seven, ten, twelve, which becomes fourteen. I'm going to throw everything to stop that. Yeah. Easily stopped. Okay, we got Flame and Sword off on those guys. And the magic, that takes us nicely into shooting. Okay, so Fireglaive shooting your knights. Okay, with the woods, it's uh, soft cover, so look for sixes to hit. Four, two. Okay, uh, with your plus one to wound, thanks to Flame and Sword, you are on threes to wound. Of which you get one. It's armor piercing, so it's a minus two, puts one of three up. Which I failed. You killed a knight. Well one. done. Uh, I'll kill that guy at the end. Uh, no panic for them. Um, Death Shrieker, do you know where he's going? Yes, right into the middle here. Middle of this unit, okay. Um, now we have to have a template, which we don't have, but I guess what? You know I me mean? right for the middle guy? His head? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so let's see how on target you are. Four inches off. Okay, let's double check whether that will have hit. So the marker has still managed to hit this guy at the end, um, which means it's the large template. So how this works, people don't know. You don't use a, a template to start with. It's just a, like a, a coin or marker. That scatters. As long as that coin is still over a unit or model, um, you get to use... The big template, 
If it's not over a model, it then scatters again, and if that hits somebody, it's a small template, but that's that's what it is. We've hit here. Um, there's 10 warriors who have been hit. It's only strength three, so it is fives to wound. Uh, okay, we well, got three. Three, yeah. Yeah. There's no modifier on it, so it's uh, just chaos armor for me. Four ups. Uh, fail one. And due to the infernal ammunition rule, it causes a panic test, which I've passed. Okay. Um, mediocre shooting, I suppose. <laughs> Done. That's going to be the end of the turn. There is no combat. It's going to be Warriors turn two. Start of turn two, and before I do any charges, we do the Kadai Burning Bright rule. It says at the start of each turn, so we're going to do that at the stop, start of turn two rather than Shell's turn two, but uh, hopefully we're doing that right. So it's a toughness test for each of these to see whether they take any wounds. So your Destroyer, toughness six, it's, uh, yeah, he's fine. And your Kadai, yeah, they're both absolutely fine. Okay, charges for me. I've got these knights. Charging down into your Kodai Destroyer. Hold. And Corby's Chariot charging into those Kodai. I'm going to hold. And I think that's it. I do I want to try and charge in there. No, because that unit isn't actually worth anything to me. No, nope, that's it for my two charges. So rolling for the Knights first. Uh, nine. I think that's going to be enough to get me in. Um, my chariot pretty much can't fail. Yeah, he's definitely in as well. Movement phase complete. Two charges have gone in. Warriors have continued to march up the middle. Worth noting that the dogs down here did not manage to rally and have fled off. And the Demon Prince and Chimera are behind enemy lines, about to make a right nuisance of themselves. So, magic. How strong are the winds? Oh, again. Come on. Do I get a channel? Oh, I do. So at least I've got three dice. Can you manage a channel? No. Okay, so three dice to one. Going for stream of corruption from him down onto that unit of Infernal Guard. So then, oh, mighty three dice at it. Wow. So it's five plus three becomes uh, eight. You could almost try it with one dice or... Why don't you just spell it, please? With your dispel scroll? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Okay, that's the end of magic. That was phenomenal. Uh, do I use a breath weapon for the other guy? No. So, shooting is done. Combat. Uh, let's start with the knights. So, the Chaos Knights and the Kadai Destroyer both uh, swing at the same initiative. Do my fear check first. As you cause terror, I cause fear. That's a pass. Ten attacks from my knights coming in, hitting you on fours. Ooh, there's quite a lot of ones, twos, and threes there. That's appalling. 30% hit. Um, I'm strength four plus one with the ensorcelled weapons. Your toughness six. It's fives to wound. Okay, not bad. Two wounds that go through at minus two. Four at ward save for the Kadai. Of which you fail both. Okay, so down to four wounds left. And it will then be the destroyer to attack. However, slightly out of sequence, we should have done the. Uh, uh, burning body automatic strength four hits because um, I'm in base contact with you at the start of combat, so we'll just roll for those now. Oh wow! So that's five that have all wounded. Um, minus one takes me to two ups. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so that made no difference there. Right, it's um, die destroyers turn to attacks back. You get d3 additional attacks for the frenzy. So let's see how many your d3 is. It's two. Okay, this is a lot of attacks coming back in. Eight attacks from this Kadai Destroyer coming into my knights. And they're bit off more than I can chew here. Hitting on fours. Okay, that's about as bad as mine. Three. Uh, you're wounding on twos, though. Strength seven. Yeah, that's three. Um, I am, amazingly, still going to get a save on this because my one-up armor save normally takes me to, I think it's going to be a five-up save. So I've definitely lost two. We'll just double-check whether... What the modifier is on a 7. You don't normally get a save off that high, but let's double check. 
Yep, did manage to save two of the knights there. Combat res means I got two points for the wounds, three for charges, four for the standard. Shell just got two back. Uh, no thunder stomps because I'm cavalry. It means I won that combat by two. You are unbreakable, but you're also unstable. So two more wounds taken off that Kadai destroyer, taking it down to uh, uh, two wounds left. And it loses its frenzy, which is at least something. Then we'll come round to this one. So we'll start off with the uh, strength four hit. If you want to roll your dice for that, you're looking for a six now because of my toughness. But <laughs> typical, you've done it. Okay. Uh, no, don't save. So I've lost one wound already. Then we'll do my impact hits. Nice. Rolling for my impact hits. Unfortunately, the killing blow doesn't mean anything. Uh, and strength five, toughness four will be threes, but your special rule puts you on a minus one because I'm not magical. Looking for fours. Okay. Three. So that's three ward saves then of four up. Which you failed to. Charioteers have swung. Managed to get one wound through, but it was saved with the ward save. It's now the Kadai swinging back. Ten attacks coming in. Uh, fours to hit. Oh. Yeah, okay, not brilliant. Again, um, straight five, th fives to wound. For just the one. So minus two, uh, which is enough. Takes me down another wound. Okay. Uh, and then I have my Gore Beast himself. Who does manage two hits. Uh, strength five, but thanks to your minus one rule, that's two more at uh, four at Wards. Yay! Go to another one. Okay. So, combat resolution for that one. I got four for the wounds, five for charging. Um, you got... Two for wounds, I guess. We'll count your extra one. So you lose by three. You're unbreakable but unstable. So that's three more wounds inflicted. That is the end of turn two for Warriors of Chaos. See what Sean wants to do then. Chaos Dwarfs turn two. Movement is complete. We had one charge, which was the Fire Glaives going into the flank of the uh, Gore Beast Chariot. Infernal Guard have done another reform down to face back to these guys, as have the Bull Centaurs, made a slightly wider front and reformed down to face those two. Uh, okay, magic. Let's see how strong the wind's blown for you this time. Uh, seven, not a great roll for you. I try my channel. Wee, I get one. I'll let you try yours. Um, nope, so it's seven to seven. Let's see if you can get any spells off. Okay, so I'm going to do my medium fireball on the canoe. Okay. Five dice. No miscast, not a bad roll. We're on 10, 16, 18, 20. Uh, this could destroy him. <laughs> I will throw six at it. Uh, he's 10, 18, 21. Yeah, it's, uh, it's dispelled. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Yep, yeah, I'm going to do my flaming sword of ruin on these guys again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ten easily cast. Can I? Five, eight. No. Okay, that one is off. Add that to them. Uh, shooting. You've just got the death shrieker. Do you know what you're going to do with him? Yeah, I'm going to go straight into the uh, demon prince, yeah. and you can do the strength eight one. The big. Nasty rocket. Yes. Okay, let's see how on target you are. Oh, it's a misfire. Shower Order 5 for the misfire just means it can't shoot this turn, but it's fine again next turn. Uh, combat, which one do you want to start with? Destroyer. Okay, do you want to do your three strength four auto hits? Uh, that is one wound, which does kill another one. Oh, come on. Okay, um, take my fear check. Oh, uh, gleaming Pennant, these guys have got. I can read them on my first failed leadership. Yep, they are fine. Um, I'll swing my attacks first, and we're both at the same initiative to begin with. Wow. You're now getting six attacks back into me. 
Okay, yep, five hits, nice. And two's to wound. Uh, five. Okay, I need to make a lot of five up saves now. Oh, well, I made a good effort of it, but I've still failed three. That unit is destroyed. Okay, um, work out what the Kodai Destroyer is going to do. That's your first standard that you've got as well, so that is one, one point on my fortitude that has been knocked down. Get that one sorted. We'll come back for the Kodai Fireborn. Coming down to the Gorby's Chariot, Kodai have done their automatic strength four. Didn't get a wound through on him. I'm going to put my Charioteers into the Fireglaives on the side. Uh, wounding on threes as well. Okay, so that is two wounds at minus two. Uh, you've got your Black Shard armor and then your shield. So what, you want a three plus save? which becomes a 5 plus save, so one of them is killed. Not really good enough. And then let you have your 6 attacks from the Kadai. Okay, only 2. Um, 5 to wound. That is one more that goes through. Minus 2. Um, I save it. That's fine. Then it's going to be the Gore Beast. Can he finish one of these other Kadai off? Uh, yes, he can hit them. Strength 5, toughness 4 with the minus 1 4s. Yep, so it's one more on a 4 up to keep your destroyer alive. No, so he's gone. And that's one wound caused there as well. And then it's going to be all of these Fire Glaives to swing back. So do the fear check first, just to check that they're not scared. Nope. Uh, so yes, ten. Yeah, leadership nine, aren't you? So they are scared. Okay. <laughs> uh, nine attacks coming in onto the uh, chariots then. Looking for fives to hit. And there's a five there. Yep, yeah, two. Strength five. No, no wounds. Okay, it's uh, it's charging time, all or nothing. If I break this unit now, that's it. I've won the game, so let's go for it. Demon Prince is charging your Infernal Guard. Shouldn't you try and hold? Yes. Okay, but I do cause terror. Let's do your terror test. Yeah, which you've passed. Okay, I mean, I can't fail my charge, I don't think, there. No, and I'm also doing the Chimera in as well. I shouldn't have rolled, but I assume you're still holding for the Chimera. Oh, yes. Yeah, Yeah, they've both made it in. Okay, we'll get those guys done. Do I try a charge here? Yeah, why not? The I'd have to try and restrain away from the frenzy. So yeah, my warriors are going to charge your bull centaurs. Hold. Okay. Let's see if these guys can make it. Not sure what they need. Something quite high. Uh, six. It's coming from ten. It's probably not enough. We'll have a look. The charges are in. Master and his pet. Warriors just stumbled forward after failing theirs. And uh, my Gore Beast is obviously still locked in combat. If ever I need a strong magic phase, it's now. Come on, Winds of Magic. Something higher than a Snake Eyes, please. Well, it's higher than a Snake Eyes. I'll give it that. Channel? No. Okay. Four dice. To Shell's three. We'll let her try her channel. Work out how I'm going to do this. Trying to four dice. Curse of the Leper. Casting it on himself, which will increase his own toughness. Oh, oh, another miscast. Okay. Toughness goes up by one. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm... Just stick that behind him for me. Thank you. Uh, toughness six. What's he done to himself? Oh, it's the same as before. Loses D3 from his wizard level. So he's lost another two. So he forgets that spell. And let you pick which one am I losing. Uh, stream of Corruption, okay, so I have my Asthma of Pestilence left, and I'm going to have a one wizard. Okay, but the spell did go off. Do I get my lore attribute? No. That's the first time I've actually remembered to roll for it as well. Okay, that's the end of magic. No shooting, as always, with warriors. Let's go straight in to the big combat down here. Challenge. An issue in a challenge. Okay, from the uh, unit champion, I'm guessing, not the prophet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, I will have to accept with my Demon Prince, which is annoying because I'd quite like to have killed your Prophet and won the game, but there we go. Um, well, we'll start with that one. Do you want to roll your fear test for the 
champion who fails. Hitting on twos. Oh, wow, still managed to miss two. Winning on twos. Managed to go one. Uh, it's two armor saves on minus three. So that puts you on six ups. And six up parry. No. So the champion is dead with one wound for overkill. Um, okay. And then the Chimera and the unit are all at the same initiative then. We'll keep going with me first, eh? Uh, Chimera's breath weapon. Ten. Very nice. Two, five, nine, ten. Strength four. Toughness four is pause to wound. Oh, wow. That is absolutely atrocious. One. One armor save at minus one. Which you've passed. Okay. And then the Chimera himself has six plus D3 for his fiend tail for an extra two. Oh man, just can't hit you. These are twos. Okay, that's two more at minus three. And you can take your parries. Okay, so that's two of them who are slain. Eight attacks going into the Chimera first. Uh, five to hit, as you failed your fear test. Okay. And uh, five to wind. Ooh, very nice. Two at minus one. Uh, I've got my regen. So, fail both the scaly skin uh, and the regen. So both of those, okay, so I've lost two wounds on the Chimera. And to finish the combat, we have the Thunder Stomps from the Chimera. How many does he get? Oh, brilliant. One, which uh, does cause a wound. So one armor save on a four up. Uh, no, sorry, six up. Ha, <laughs> which typically you pass. Okay, let's work out the combat res. I don't think this has gone too well for me. Somehow, I've managed to lose that combat by one. <laughs> wow. Uh, Demon Prince is unbreakable, so he's staying put. Chimera is not. Oh, okay, they can use the General's leadership at least, as Gartax is right next to them. Minus one, leadership eight. Need him to stay. No, nine. He's gone. I'm going to be well outside 12 inches for the BSB down here. Let's see how far I'm going. You can't pursue me at least because you're tied in. But seven inches. Hopefully that's not quite off the board. Um, and then we've still got this combat here to do. We'll get that one all resolved and uh, come back for turn three. This combat has been resolved. Gorby's chariot whiffed massively. The charioteers didn't manage to do any wounds to the fire glaives on the side, and the fire glaives with their plus one strength and the plus one to wound uh, managed to chop it to pieces themselves without even needing the help from the Kadai. So he's dead. They have turned around to face where they need to. Let's go into turn three for Chaos Dwarves. Start turn three for the Chaos Dwarves. Just worth mentioning that we did do the Burning Body Blaze toughness test things for these two at the start of last, well, start of Warrior's turn, and they both passed it. Any charges? Yes. I thought there might be. What are you doing? I'm going to take this little handsome troop mm -hmm. into the Chimera. Into the Chimera, okay. I have to flee so let's see how far i'm going it's going to be off the board yeah he's gone um do you want to try and redirect i do indeed yeah you passed to you redirecting into your demon prince oh, i thought that might be the case okay he will obviously hold he's stuck in combat doesn't get much choice in the matter there okay we'll get those guys done do your other movement come back for some magic Arj has gone crashing into the demon prince other stuff's just moved around we've realized that actually this this is the crucial one because if the demon prince goes uh i then only have the standard and bsb which leads me to my breaking point so if he's trampled underfoot which i have a feeling he might be then that's it shell wins the game so magic let's see how strong the winds are blowing for you six okay do you want to try your channel try mine no, so four for me, and uh, six for you. What are you going to try and cast? Well, I'm going to do my Flaming Sword of Ruin on these guys here. Okay, how many dice are you going to throw at it? Oh, I've got six. Okay. No misfire, which is good. Let's see if I can 
beat that on four. No, I can't. Okay, so they've got a plus one to wound. Very nice. There's a tiny little bit of shooting to do from the fire glaze down into these guys, and then we'll be back for the big combat. Ting was resolved. One more warrior was uh, shot down. And into this big combat, we have another challenge being issued. We do indeed. Yeah, who's calling it this time? My Toruk going to your Demon Prince. Yeah, um, has to be done, because otherwise with me having the highest initiative, it would go into that general, kill him, and somehow win me the game, even though he's about to be cut to death himself. So, if nothing else, it's bought you another turn. Uh, I have the higher initiative, so I'll be swinging first. Do you want to do your fear test, please? Oh, which you failed. Okay, so hitting you on twos, which I would have been hitting you on twos anyway. Still managed to get the ones. Stupid blooming prince. Um, strength six, your toughness five, perhaps. So threes. That is, yeah, threes to wound. So that's three armor saves of... Yeah, I think you had a one-up save, don't you? So Hitting on sixes. Oh, managed to get one hit. And um, winning on fours, your sword of might. Oh. No, no wound caused. Okay, combat res. Uh, I can't thunder stomp you because of the size of you. So that's it for that combat. There's nothing else to do it. You've thrashed me in combat res there, but... That is, uh, that's it, I'm unbreakable, so I'm not going anywhere. And until one of us kills the other, that combat is just gonna be a very long, protracted, drawn out thing. But that's it for turn three. Let's come back for turn four for the Warriors of Chaos. Warriors turn four. The unit here has charged into the Bull Centaurs just to make this a really complicated combat in the middle. Um, I don't have anything else. Uh, that's my any, any other unit that's left. Magic, I've got six dice for Winds of Magic. I'm throwing all of them onto my Asthma of Pestilence uh, on... Mm, yeah, on himself. Why not? Yes, irresistible. That's gone. Um... The main reason for doing this is because I need the lore attribute. I really need a six to get plus one toughness. What is it? Oh, I can see a six on the side. So it's it, a two. It isn't a six. Okay, and what's he done to himself? This potentially, I realise, could have killed me in when you the game. It's a four. The Dimensional Cascade has killed eight Infernal Guard in the blast and done two wounds through on the Bull Centaurs. But this is the crucial dice roll on a one two three he's removed from play as the magic destroys him which is kind of fitting given that he is a demon prince i suppose in the way things have gone so one two three he's gone and you win the game where's it gone it's gone off the table ah <laughs> fittingly it's a skull he is removed from play, implodes in that miscast, banished back into the warp and wherever he is that he came from. And with it, my fortitude is destroyed. I reach my breaking point, having only the two banners that are left. And that is it. I have managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> and like that, Scar Taxi's campaign is dealt a severe blow his ambitions of harnessing the great war machines and the chaos dwarves are not to be realized the chaos dwarves have shown they are more than a big enough match for him plenty of chaos dwarves left at the end of that but then the whole point of uh, my battle plan was just to try and destroy that unit and the prophet in there that would have won me the game i'm amazed at how poorly the Chimera and uh, and Demon Prince did when they charged into that combat. Maybe I should have waited another turn, tried to hit them with some more magic. And I definitely should have cast the um, Curse of the Leper on the unit and not boosted his own toughness. That was daft. I don't know what I was thinking there. But anyway, that's just one of those things when you're thinking about all the other stuff when you're trying to film a game. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, different, different kind of game. And again... Nice to get another different army on the channel. You think you might have seen these guys before uh, from months and months and months ago, but nice to have them back for a little bit. So we'll see some more of them coming up soon. This is still one of our league games, so it's another defeat for the Warriors of Chaos um, and a first win on the board for the Chaos Dwarves. 
as always, please give us a like, drop us a comment. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. It really, really does help us out. We appreciate it all massively. And uh, stay tuned for some more content coming soon.